article on Substack called What Happened to Jordan Peterson. So I felt that there's been a significant change in his tone and content on Twitter and on YouTube in the last months. And I believe firmly that Ellen slash Elliot or whatever the hell her name or his name is bears moral culpability for that. And I'm not taking down that tweet or acknowledging that my tweet violated the Twitter rules. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. We're not really seeing the more thoughtful and accountable Peterson from 2018. Because I'm on guard so much, it's easier for me to get a bit snappy and, and unpleasant. And that's bad. That's bad. I don't want to do that. I want to stay calm and detached and try to, you know, tell the truth and be happy that I'm there regardless of the circumstances. The problem is, is that because... The problem is I'm becoming too much on guard, and I, I've noticed a, a developing sense of impatience um, within me and some suspicion, and that's not good. I don't want to be in situations where those are my fundamental orientations. It's, it, it's, a, it's a sign of a certain amount of internal corruption on my part. I also argue that there's a significant split in his audience, a division between those who are captivated by a deep thinker on religion and mythology and those who wanted culture war clickbait. 